Welcome in everybody, my name is Justin Nems. On this video we are going to be showing you how to unlock the legendary Lamat skin on Hunt Showdown called The Last Resort. In order to get this, you have to get 90 stars out of 96 on the trials. On this episode we're going to be showing you the first 8 trials, step by step on how to free star each one of them. It's going to be timestamps below, so if you're only missing certain ones, you can jump straight to that. This is going to be recorded on PC, but I am going to be doing it on a controller. So if I can do it on a controller, you guys can definitely do it on a mouse and keyboard. So let's jump straight in to the first mission. The first trial we are going to be doing today is in the Stillwater Bayou, and it's going to be our first of many time trial ones. In order to one star this mission, you're going to have to complete all checkpoints and do it in a time limit of 4 minutes and seconds. In order to two star this mission you have to do it in three minutes 40 seconds and headshot 10 hives which is going to be quite annoying because it gives you jewelies on the way and we all know what the accuracy is like in jewelies in order to free star this mission you have to complete it all in three minutes 20 seconds and avoid any damage that includes fallen damage poison damage bleeding damage fight like anything it's it can be annoying okay so we're going to go straight in. I'm going to show you the little tips that I did along the way. And hopefully you guys can also restart. Okay, at the beginning of this trial, you don't want to go in the direction it's facing you. You want to quickly turn around so we can run into this little hut. What you want to do first is get rid of these free hive. That one's a little bit far away, but we're going to try for it anyway. Headshot. I tend to get rid of that bear trap um, just on those ladders there. That will come a little bit more important in a while. Now we're going to go the direction it wants us to go. Try not to reload yet. We're going to save on reloading until we need to. Only because uh, the type of weapon that it is, it can take ammo away from you. We're not going to go for that checkpoint yet. We're going to push for this hive here. If we can headshot it, there we go. Now we're going to turn and head in the correct direction. This hive can move around this building. Uh, it tends to be at, it's at the back for us right now. We're going to get rid of that. I reload before I push across this way. Just because we've taken a few shots at this point. We've still got plenty of time. Once we get rid of the, this hive though. What I recommend doing. There's a hive on top of this walkway here. I set it on fire. Because it can aggro at you at a weird range. And then you've just got no chance of headshotting it. Take care of this hive. Here we go. Now we've got some bear traps on this walkway here. I use my throwing knives to quickly get rid of them. Another hive just waiting for us here. Now we're going to go into the building. That's our final throwing knife done. We're going to go up the stairs. Once you get into the building, you want to stick to the left-hand side. If you go to the right-hand side, there's going to be quite a few bear traps for you. You jump out the window, jump over this small gap. Grab the next point. Turn around, though. If you jump down, you're going to take falling damage. Go down the ladder. It's safer. Might not be quicker, but it's safer. You can get halfway down and jump. Completely up to you. This is the bear trap we got rid of earlier. Now we're going to walk into the water. I don't bother with any of these hives. You want to grab the clue and try and pull back as far as you can without aggroing on any of them. If you aggro them, you're just going to have to fight them when you don't need to. We're gonna grab this you can then go on top of the building the next one here when you jump down to the left there's some boxes that you can land on that reduces your fall and then we're gonna go underground same like as we were inside the building stick to the left hand side uh, there's bear traps on the right hand side there's three more hives at the end of the map that we're gonna try and kill get rid of one of the bear traps so there should be there's three hives around this area This one's hiding in the bushes from us, making it very easy. Now we're going to keep running. We might have to deal with this one on our left here. Uh, no, we can keep running. We're good. There's one more hive just in this corner here, which we're going to hopefully be our last hive. Here it is. Keep your headshot. Now what we're going to do is hit this little staircase here and we are done. This one's... Let the loud music play. This one's a little bit more fast-paced because to get to hard reward, you have to complete it in 3 minutes 20 seconds. 
so it's a little bit quicker pace than some of the other time trials but there's your three stars our second trial here is going to be our first sniping trial on this one the main tip i can really give is always aim for the head because one of the missions is to actually get headshots not just kill the enemy so in order to one star this mission you have to kill 12 enemies in a time limit of four minutes not so bad to two star this you need to also headshot 18 enemies and kill two emulators to three star this you need to headshot 24 enemies you need to headshot three emulators but nobody is allowed to die to the fire in order to do this what i did is i made sure i cleared out most of the grunts first and then i focused on one emulator at a time one headshot to ignite him let him run around a bit when he stands still finish him with a second headshot Try and do this away from any barrels. That way the fire stays limited and then you can just pop off more grunts and then repeat one emulator, pop off grunts, repeat one emulator. Let's go see it. Right, what we're going to do to start with is... Well, I'm not going to bother with the emulators straight away. I'm going to try and work on some of the grunts. Deal with getting rid of some of the grunts, headshotting a few of them. Don't worry about missing. I'm going to miss plenty here, as you can already see, because I'm just shooting at random. Plenty of ammo up here. Keep loaded. Look out for the torch grunts before you shoot, in case they are next to a yellow barrel. No grunts over there at the moment. There's some hives that spawn as well on the walkway there. I think the one's just gone down the side, so I'm not going to bother with that. I'm going to wait for the second wave of grunts to spawn, I think, down there before I start shooting emulators. You're not actually... I'm going to pop that one only because he's not next to any barrels. So I can deal with him. Keep a little headshot on him. Quickly check for... Sw right, now we've got more grunts that have just spawned. You're going to hide from me, aren't you? All right, Torch Grunt, get rid of you because you're not next to a barrel. You shouldn't trigger that barrel, but we're going to find out anyway. Slowly taking our time. We've got a hive that spawned over there. I'm not going to deal with you quite yet. Get rid of you. I'm going to try to get rid of that Grunt just before he gets to the barrel. Not bothering with those emulators right now. Cheeky hive that we can pop in the head. Quick reload, check for grunts. So there's no grunts near that one. I can probably pop him. He shouldn't trigger any barrels. If we're lucky. Now we can focus on headshotting him. Oh, okay. How about now? Or miss. I missed a headshot on that, but we've got plenty of time left. We need 10 more headshots. Checking for grunts, but all right, grunts have respawned now. Slowly start dealing with some more of the grunts. The group of, you have a torch, so I'm not going to bother shooting you yet. We need to start dealing with the emulators. I missed the headshot on one of them, which set us back a little bit, but it's not the end of the world. I'm not going to shoot any of you. You're next to a barrel. You have a torch, but you're not that close to a barrel. So we're almost done with the headshots. So we can almost start dealing with the emulators soon. Don't. Uh, you're not going to trigger any barrels. Now nah, I can try aim with you. Missing my shot. Please stand still. Alright, that's two headshots on the emulators. You were probably going to be a good shot on an emulator, but it's fine. Plenty of time now. Casually headshotting. Uh, I'm going to shoot you anyway. You might trigger that barrel, but I don't mind right now. 40 seconds. We need one more headshot. And then we can work on headshotting emulators. I'm going to trigger you, actually. You shouldn't trigger any of them. Yep. Now, if we keep an eye on this emulator, it's just gone behind here. We found the one that we need to headshot. 16 seconds. 
a little bit of a pressure towards the end, but we still get a nice free star out of it. Okay, for our third trial, it's going to be another time trial mission. This time, we don't need to deal with any hives, which is always a bonus, but we still need to go through some of the checkpoints. In order to get one star, we're allowed to miss five checkpoints, which isn't so bad. Between each checkpoint, you have 14 seconds to get from one to the next one and so forth. To get a two star on this one, we are allowed to miss two checkpoints where we have to kill 10 grunts and we have to avoid any bleeding damage along the way. There is Constantine in armors, but when we go through the video, I'll show you guys what to do when you get to those points. In order to free star this, you have to go through all the checkpoints. You can't miss any checkpoints at all. And you also have to kill 20 grunts, including the previous ones, which would be the avoid bleeding damage. And you've got 14 seconds to hit every checkpoint along your way. So let's go into the video and I'll show you guys exactly how I did it and how you can definitely do it. Around and just get rid of this grunt directly behind us. Don't, don't miss like I did. And then we're going to head towards our first trap. There should be a grunt chilling out next to this first checkpoint. Followed by immediately two on the left side. You're going to trigger that? Yep, you are. It's fine because the bear traps also count as you actually killing them, which is fine. We get nice little decoys here that we can use to get rid of some of the bear traps. I tend to only get rid of one of them. Saves a little bit of time. Okay, they're better. I'm going to take my time killing you. There should be one right just here. Here we go. Still plenty of time. Pull the decoys out again. Get rid of the bear trap on the left. Now we're going to drop down. When we drop down, there's going to be about five grunts and a Constantinid armored. We're going to try and avoid the armored, of course. There's three bear traps immediately as you try and turn, so we'll just walk around them. We're going to try and just sprint through this bit so that uh, the Constantina doesn't follow us. Dialect, when you get to this corner, avoiding all the bear traps on the floor, there's going to be two grunts and a Constantine armored. What you want to do, focus on getting rid of the two grunts first, making sure you kill them. What I tend to do is bait the Constantina down, try and do a little bit of a, a dupe him and run up the stairs. When you get to the top of the stairs, there's going to be another bear trap. Shoot the one on the left. And then going forward. Don't worry about setting yourself on fire or falling damage. It only matters about bleed on this one. What I do for this Constantine is just stagger him with your shots as you're trying to get past him so you can climb up the ladder. Once you get up the ladder, he's not a problem anymore. Reloading your Winfield as you go along. Decoys. Get rid of some of the bear traps on your way around this side. There's no grunts here apart from when you get to this corner. So what we're going to do, pop this turn, shoot. Back to your decoys. Get rid of some of the bear traps on your way around. You're going to have to go around the back here. There's going to be one more grunt. Miss him. Back to your decoys. You get rid of the first three bear traps on your left hand side here and then there's going to be one grunt as soon as you turn feel free to just get rid of him don't worry about the fire you can avoid it but it's not the end of the world pop some of these grunts before we jump down so we only need one more grunt and we're near the end so what we're going to do is trigger this there's our final grunt not worried about you right now i'm going to try and deal with this armored get rid of the final grunt the armored's gone now we can just straight up run path right to the exit you can if you really wanted to turn around and maybe shoot the grunt in the end get rid of the last bird trap casually walk through it and there we are nice little free stuff trial number four is going to be a banishing trial the idea of this one is to run around and kill some armoreds and banish them to spawn the next one and so forth with this one though your run is going to be different to my one the way these ones are completely random wherever it's going to spawn where the monster that you need to banish is going to be in a different place every time you restart the mission so this is just going to be how i did it 
and then a little tip at the end of how to kill a group of grunts all together at once but we'll go through with the stars in order to get one star on this you need to kill and banish three armored you've got a time limit of five minutes to complete this in the five minute time limit is through all the stars in order to two star this you have to kill and banish six armored and then you also have to kill 15 grunts with fire don't worry there's yellow barrels everywhere you can pop as you run around in order to free star this it's everything above but you also have to avoid the fire damage which you are causing to kill those grunts as you are running around we're gonna show the clip like i said everything's gonna be different when you do it compared to when i do it but this is how i managed to do it it's not that hard as long as you just run around and pop the yellow barrows as you go let's roll it right so we've got five minutes we have a bomb lance a cold oil conversion uppercut a knife and three fire bombs what we're going to do is focus with first is going after the armors we're going to shoot some of these yellow barrels on our way past actually we all because we also need to kill 15 grunts with fire but hopefully by the time we finish killing all the armors the grunts would have already dealt with themselves we're getting quite lucky already with double spawn right next to each other. That's a fire grunt, so we're going to quickly get rid of him. Maybe pop that yellow barrel. And you know what? We're going to pop one of these for good measure. Where is our next armored? All right, our next armor is actually in that direction over there. That grunt. Oh, he's even coming towards us. All right, you didn't kill yourself, but hopefully I can get you to walk over some of these fire. No? Okay. I'll just get rid of you anyway. So we're already three out of three on the armoured. So we're going to find our next one inside the building. Pops of the yellow barrels on our way past. Doesn't matter about normal damage that we take during this mission. This mission is all about fire. As long as we don't take fire damage, we're okay. Spawn points for these armoureds are completely random. This is actually a very good run when it comes to spawn points. Careful on that. A little bit of fire there. Didn't want him to trigger that barrel right next to us. Our last armor's just out there at the back. That is the last armor we need. We still need to burn 10 more grunts, though. But we've got three minutes left. What we're going to do, you're all burning each other for us nicely down there. Where is the grunt? There's the armor. Once we get rid of this armoured, I've got a nice little spot that you can get into. So that's all the armoured's done. All we need to do now is get some of these little grunts to chase us. You've got fire, so we're going to try and avoid you. You are chasing... I'm just going to get rid of you because you've got fire. You can take one hit from a fire grunt. It's not going to automatically set you on fire. It's when you get double hit that you got to worry about. If you climb on top of this little shed here, you can start popping all these yellow barrels. They're not going to burn you. The sound will attract them as well. Two more grunts. We could probably just sit here and wait. Bearing in mind, it does give you fire bombs. A nice little spot, so they'll start gathering inside this building below you. If you just throw a fire bomb right in this little gap here, Make a little bit of fire inside the building. They should slowly start burning each other. You, you, like for instance, I could throw a fire at that one. I could throw a fire at that one. We didn't have to do anything else apart from that. Completely random where the armors will spawn on this one. This trial is going to be another banishment trial. With this one, the idea is to go around and kill Constantine's armors and banish them as you're moving around the map. The deal with this one is that it gives you bayonet and stuff on the end of your weapon. I consider that some kind of trick because if you go to bayonet a Constantina, you're going to influence bleeding damage and then you're going to fail the mission. So the idea for this one is to run around and shoot them instead and use the odd red barrels which are scattered around the map. In order to one star this mission, you need to kill and banish four Constantinian armors in a time limit of five minutes. If you want to do the two star, you need to do the same with kill and banishing but 10 at Constantine armors and avoid any bleeding damage which is going to be around. Runts are going to have machetes as well. 
In order to free star this, you need to kill and banish 10 Constantine armors, avoid any damage whatsoever, and you need to do it in the time limit of 5 minutes. Let's go through the clip. This one's going to be different from when you do it, as from previous trials, because the way that the armored spawn are going to be completely random, but this one isn't particularly hard as long as you just keep your distance and just shoot them if you're running around the map. Okay, with this trial, what do we get? We get Mosin with Bayonet, Cold War Pax Claw, and a Knuckle Knife. One thing about this trial, which I learned very earlier on, that yes, it gives you like a Bayonet, it, it gives you all these things that makes you want to stab the armored. Don't. Because if you get too close, you're just going to get done by the concertina. And then you, you're going you're gonna to fail hard mode straight away. So we're not going to bother with that. We're just going to run around. Not worry too much about any of the grunts yet. We're just going to go straight for the armored. A bit closer to this one. <clears throat> Reload, vanish, find out where the next one is. Back where we were. The spawn points on this, completely random. Um, so you have to keep going into dark side to make sure. Oh, he went down. We need to avoid any damage. So, like, for instance, jumping down here, not the best of ideas. So we're going to hit him so he's not quite dead yet. Just so then we can finish him off with the pistol. Really banish, and then I think. Stay out there, please. That's not good. Deal with these. We haven't even figured out where the next arm... Oh, the next arm it is up above. So, we're going to go deal with that. Quickly. Vanish. Oh, he's right there. Alright, and we got we got time to reload. I'm not gonna banish it, I'm gonna grab some ammo. These grunts come up behind us now, isn't there? Back to the other side of the area. Five out of ten, halfway. Make sure everything's reloaded. Are you down actually? Are you up? Oh, I I'm going to use that. Bye. I was going to shoot. Change my mind. This is all randomly spawned, so we're just running around, trying to keep an eye on everything. Careful of the barrels that could damage us. He's back on the other side. Now we're going to rotate back around. Deal with the grunts that are chasing us. Make sure we're nice and reloaded for when we get there. Right, he's still up. He's he's not he's not gone down yet, which is good for us. Trying to keep a bit of distance from from some of the grunts. Might have enough to finish him with that. Reload. Grab the ammo box again. Check where he is. Back to the others. Th this is one of the problems. Which I found with these type of trials is that you are just running side side to side looking for the spawns. It's not like the time trial ones where you can you know where certain things spawn. This is just completely random. Two left. Not struggling at all yet. And he spawned right next to us. That's a nice little spawn, isn't it? So we'll quickly... Pop the ammo box as well. Even went down the stairs for us. Where's our final one? Final one is right next to us. Get rid of you. And here we are. Like I said, it gives you the bayonet. Try not to use the bayonet because if you get too close... You're going to end up 
yes, you're going to maybe kill the concertina, but you're also going to stab yourself with the wires that are on it. There's red barrels everywhere that you can also use. Feel free to use them. I would typically use these ones as well because it leads to fire, which will block this path. But then on that note, you also then need to run into the fire. But it's just the spawn points. It, every, if I failed now and redid it, the spawn points would be completely different. But we did it. This one is a particularly easy one. It just tries to trick you by giving you a bayonet and and the pax claw but do not use them just shoot utilize the red barrels easy free stuff right with this trial it's going to be another banishment trial this one's a little bit different from our previous ones because this one involves meatheads the most annoying thing about this particular trial is so it gives you a nitro if you miss between two to three shots from your nitros, if the RNG doesn't one hit the meatheads, which is a possibility, it's easier just to reset the trial. In my opinion, this is probably one of the most annoying trials because you can't inflict any damage on yourself and there's just leeches everywhere. Another tip is try and save the nitro shots for when you get inside the building. You'll notice on my run, I didn't have any spawn in the basement of the building. But in previous runs, which I've done trying to record it, because this isn't my first time doing this trial, uh, they've spawned in the basement, and you have to run down, shoot them, get out. It, It's a whole ordeal that you don't want to deal with. This one's also completely RNG, so your meatheads are going to spawn in different places than mine. Main thing I can advise on this, utilize the red barrels, because you do get the odd few that spawn directly next to them. Just make sure you pop them on your way around. Anyway, if you want to one-star this, you have to kill and banish five meatheads in a time limit of five minutes. Not so bad. If you want to two-star this, you need to kill and banish 11 meatheads, but avoid poison damage. Remember that, le that leech is everywhere on the floor. So you don't want to stand still. Run up to the meathead, shoot it, and run away. Let him do his death swing, come back and banish it. If you want to three-star this, you need to do everything above, but avoid all damage. And there's going to be grunts chasing you, red barrels when you shoot them, you can't get hit by the explosives. Leeches, when they poison you, poison plus they do damage on top of it. This one is a very annoying trial, so just stick with it and you will be able to freestar it. Right, okay, meatheads. We have a nitro, cold oil conversion, some dynamite sticks, and a big knife. This one, very RNG. The meatheads will spawn in different places every time you attempt to do this mission. And But you want to utilize the red barrels, which they stand next to sometimes. That one, I'm probably going to have to use the nitro, but it's fine. Quickly shoot and then run away. You want to avoid the leeches and you want to avoid that death swing that he does. You want to move straight on to the next one. Don't worry too much about the grunts as you run around. If you miss maybe two to three nitro shots, it's best just to reset. Uh, this one, I'm going to try to do a safe kill. And shoot through this gap. Oh, you're going to run away from me. Can you come back, please? No, you're not. All right, we've got plenty of time. Shoot, back away. Remember, it's avoid any damage. Quickly banish, move on to the next one. Where are you? Over there. We're going to try and cut through the middle here. We're going to hit our shots. That's what we're going to do. There is a y red barrel here, which you may be able to pop. Do a bit of damage. I don't think that actually tagged him. No, because he's out the back. I'm going to use one of my dynamites on this one. There's no particular order that these spawn in. You're just going to have to go in, deal with it. Do as best as you can. I can only give you little tips as we, as we go ahead on particular missions like this. He spawned relatively close, which is good. Get away from that death swing. Check for the next one on the far side. Nearly halfway. This one, he should... Yeah, he's next to Red Barrel, so... Utilize that. Vanish and check. He's back on the other side of the building. Go 
that door behind me. Okay, he's just here, excellent. Two, back away. Let him do his swing. Vanish. Scan. Now, this one isn't Exo Red Barrel, but. Watch out for grunts. Still two minutes left. Scan. Have to be our latch and last nitro shot. Back away. The boxes, the loop, the, the ammo boxes that you loot will not give you any nitro shots back. Remember that. And for our next one, he's on the far side. So we got two dynamite sticks, and we need to kill them three more times. But I'm going to take a bit of time on this one and save the two dynamite sticks. And I'm going to try and shoot this one to death. Because you do have a chance to spawn one inside. So in that case, I'm going to save the dynamite in case he spawns down inside. Quickly reload. Plenty of we got one minute, three left. We still got the two dynamite sticks. Slowly chip this one down. If we could use more of those red barrels, this would have been a lot easier. We're going to let him do his last little swing. And then quick vanish. Next one's over here. I'm going to get this dynamite stick ready. Straight to the final one, back where we just were. Nice little throw. Bang. And a nice little banish. Three stars. Red barrels are your friends. As soon as you shoot the meathead with the nitro, get away, avoid that death swing. Don't stand still too much because of the leeches. You don't want to get poisoned by the leeches because poison damage and that's it. I still got 13 seconds left. This is completely RNG because of where the meatheads are going to spawn. My route is going to be completely different to your route. Our seventh trial that we're going to be doing today is another banishment trial. This time it includes hives. Aren't so bad because it gives you a crossbow so you can easily kill the hives at a range and then run over and banish them. As some of the other banishment trials, this one is completely random where the hives are going to spawn. But my route is going to be particularly different from your route. This isn't a very hard one if you just keep distance from everything and you just run around and tap it. But in order to one star this trial, you need to kill and banish four hives and you get a time limit of five. If you're going for a two star, you need to kill and banish eight hives but avoid the poison damage from the hives themselves. If you want to free star this trial, you need to do everything above and avoid any damage at all. Most importantly on this one is falling damage. Let's roll the video and you guys can see exactly how I did. Right, so with this one, we have a crossbow, coldbow, rival, hand cannon, and some dusters. We need to focus on the hives altogether. Hopefully this will knock you off the building. Are you going to fall down? No, you're not. Not the end of the world. We can just go up and get her. Only eight hives. It's just the grunts you need to avoid. Because it's it's any damage. We can't take any damage. Ooh. Convenient that you're right there. Also, now we've got to be careful with some falling damage. Any more? Grunts wanna push us. Alright, other side of the compound. Bit of running, but it's fine. But I make sure the grunts don't tag us. We can kill the hives at, at range with the crossbow. It's the it's the grunts that we don't want to hit us right now. You can use the yellow barrels which are scattered around, but leaving fire everywhere, you might have to try and run through it. So I tend to not do that right now. I didn't banish, I only took my um Hold that. Like, there's a few yellow barrels around where this spawn is now, but I'm still not gonna 
bother too much about that. You are inside. Okay. Get rid of you quickly with the shotgun. Alright, we've got quite a few grunts coming at us now. I'm going to quickly banish. Check where you are. Inside there. I'm not going to jump over that, actually, because we might take a bit of fall damage. We need to get inside the building. Are you going to be open? Yeah. Get rid of you. Next one's just out here. Not going to sit there trying to open the metal gate. These are random spawns. When you guys do this, this could spawn you in somewhere completely different. These aren't guaranteed spawns. It's all RNG and trying to get good route. Right, this isn't so bad, what we're doing right now. Where are you? See, just avoiding all the grunts. Our last hive is, of course, on the opposite side of the map. Now we might have to fight through some of the grunts, but I'm not particularly bothered about it. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go round. Might not be any grunts down this path. And there it is, our final hive. We've still got two and a half minutes left of this mission. Not the hardest mission to do. Quite simple. Just avoid all the grunts as you can. You got knuckle dusters in case they get too close. The shotgun, uh, obviously, is also good for quickly shooting them, but easy. Take but take your, your bolt first. Nice of a freestyle. Our eighth and final trial of this video is going to be yet another banishment trial. The difference with this one is that you need to kill and banish emulators, but the spawn points of the emulators on this one are going to be exactly the same of yours. They might be a few meters to the side, but the route that you'll be taking is going to be exactly the same as mine. There's multiple ways you can do this one. I kind of rush this one at the end, but you can run around and pop some barrels on your way, trying to avoid damage. But if you want to one star this mission, you want to kill and banish four emulators in a time span of five minutes. If you're going to two star it, it's kill and banish ten emulators, but you also have to kill ten hellhounds with fire. That's when shooting the yellow barrels as you're running around is going to be handy. If you want to free star this mission, you need to do everything else above, but avoid fire damage. Particularly when a hellhound bites an emulator, it's going to explode, and that is where you're going to fail the mission. So as long as you do a clean run and use your knuckle dusters against the emulators and try to avoid the dogs at the same time, you should be okay with this. Sometimes the dogs will spawn in random places right next to emulators, and that's potentially going to make you have to reset the trial. But this is a this is a clean order that I managed to do it in. The emulator spawns are going to be the same, so as long as you get the path down, you'll be able to do this trial. Emulator and doggies. We've got a Lamat, Martini, Henry, some dusters, and some choke bombs. The order of the emulator spawns right now should be the exact same for you guys. They don't change. Now it's the far corner, which we're going to quickly run down towards. No dogs over here yet. We're going to start with three em emulators on the um, top level. I'm going to pop some of these barrels, I think, now on our way. Okay, did you not want to blow up? I'm not going to worry about the bleeding yet. I'm going to get rid of this emulator. And then after this emulator, we're going to go down underground now. I get a little bit of stamina back. Walk a little bit. Don't worry too much about burning the dogs yet. We're going to deal with that at the end. First, we're going to... We're going to take care of the emulators. I am going to shoot some of the yellow barrels underneath because um, dogs do spawn underneath here. But we're going to take care of them. It might not trigger any dogs, but just in case some dogs make it down here. Next emulator is at the bottom of these stairs. The one after this is going to be directly above us in the church itself. Get rid of this guy. Quickly banish. Yep, directly above us. Still just taking our time, walking, getting a little bit of stamina back. We're going to take care of him. And we're going to jump out this window at the back because our next emulator is going to be in this far corner. We're going to take care of him. 
Another dog just killed himself, but we're, we're going to work on that very shortly. Got some dogs coming for us now. We've got two emulators left. And then it's just dogs. We're going to take care of this emulator. What we're going to do is shoot this barrel. I'm just running around quickly at the moment. Try and get attention of most of the dogs. And the emulator. I'm going to stand right here where nothing can get me. <clears throat> Take care of this final emulator. What I am going to do, actually... No, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to take care of him quickly. And it, that's, that's all of the emulators now done. So we're gonna, I'm going to climb back up on top of this. I'm going to shoot all these yellow barrels, which are conveniently placed in a circle around me. If I reloaded my pistol. We've got two minutes left, and all we're going to do is burn the dogs. So, we're going to light this one. Now that that's done, what I'm going to do is just run. Make them all follow me. Oh, they're all killing each other now. Lead them into all the fire. Oh, yep. Yeah. Don't worry about bleeding. Just run away. There's multiple ways that you can do that mission. Obviously, I did it in a way where I got all the dogs in one big group and then set a fire in the end and then burnt them all. You can shoot every individual yellow barrel as you're running around the map. That's also another way to do it, so they slowly burn as you're killing the emulators. The main thing you gotta look out for this one is the dogs biting the emulators and making them explode. That's what you're gonna struggle with. Apart from that, this one's quite a straightforward mission. Uh, the emulators spawn in the same places every time, so once you know exactly where they spawn, you can just beeline from one emulator to the other. I hope you all managed to freestyle those missions alongside with me. The next video will be up shortly. We're going to be focusing on the second half of Stillwater, which will be these missions here. Don't worry about that one that I've not freestyled yet. I, I can freestar it. I just took this pitch before I've recorded it. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Feel free to come follow me on all the social medias, including Twitch, if you want to see some more controller gameplay against you PC folk. Thank you so much for coming. I'll see you guys next time.